Sweet and sour chicken is a perennially favorite takeaway. Why not try making a much healthier version at home using lovely fresh fruits and vegetables? So we obviously have the chicken for the sweet and sour chicken, but going into it, we've also got the three color peppers. So our red, our yellow, our green, fresh pineapple, celery for extra crunch, and red onions because they're sweeter and again, they add a nice savory taste to it. And to make it extra healthy, we've made a sweet and sour sauce from scratch. So in it we have tomato ketchup, plum sauce, a little bit of white wine vinegar for the sour taste, chicken stock, and to thicken it up, we have a little bit of corn flour. So some of you may not be familiar with how to chop a pineapple, so let's have a go at this. So first, to select a ripe pineapple, if you want to take one of the inner leaves from the top and give it a yank, and it should come away cleanly for you. That tells you then that the inside of the pineapple is nice and ripe. So you should have selected a nice, ripe, sweet pineapple. So we've got quite a thick outer skin, so we want to get rid of that, and then also some of the little nodes. So top and tail it. You'll need a good big strong knife for this. And then take your blade and just run it down the sides of the pineapple. You're going to go over it again, so don't worry about getting absolutely every little node. Just follow the general shape. So the sweetest part of the pineapple is the outside part. The inner core, you can just munch on as a snack, but for the sake of the sweet and sour chicken, we're not going to actually use that bit. So firstly, you want to remove the little nodes. So just take a small knife and get, trim it up. So you don't want to over trim it because you'll lose quite a lot of the pineapple. So then just chop down and slice it either into slices if it's for a fruit platter, or in our case, we want to get it into chunks. There we go. And that will go into the sweet and sour chicken. So we've learned how to chop the pineapple. The next are the peppers. So you can use three peppers in this recipe. So that's a little bit of chopping. So very easily with peppers is that the bit in the middle is the part that we don't want. That's where all the seeds are. I'm going to show you a quick and easy way on how to chop a pepper that will give you nice thin strips for our stir fry. So I just snap the, red, the, the green stalk off chop off the bottom, take off all four walls of the pepper, and then that leaves your little seed house. So you can just discard this. And then with the pepper, is you just want to remove these little pithy bits. They're not nice to eat. And then slicing your pepper from the fleshy side into thin strips for your stir fry. So the idea is, when you're doing a stir fry, because the cooking method is so quick, is you want to have everything ready to go before you start cooking, because you can't suddenly stop and then go back to the chopping. So you can do as I did and put it in little bowls, and then your stir fry will be done in a matter of minutes. So a nice, healthy version of a takeaway on the dinner table very, very shortly. The first thing you're going to do is heat up a bit of sunflower oil in your wok. So get that nice and hot and cook your chicken off in batches until it's well browned, because that's where the flavor is. Transfer your chicken then to a clean bowl and set aside. The next step is to cook your vegetables. So we've got our brightly colored yellow, red, and green peppers, and of course the celery for crunch, and the red onion for extra sweetness and savory flavor. The pineapple too will soften as it cooks. The peppers are full of vitamin C for a strong immune system. Onions are full of quercetin, which is an antioxidant that is very good for stomach ulcers and also for asthma. Pineapple is rich in an enzyme called bromelain, which is a digestive enzyme that helps break down fats and predominantly proteins. So all really, really healthy, all helping your digestive system and boosting your immune system. So the cooked chicken goes back into the wok with the cooked vegetables. You don't want to cook them longer than three minutes to keep them nice and crunchy. Our sweet and sour sauce is now going to be poured over. You're going to add a bit of corn flour to it to thicken it. Make sure you dissolve your corn flour in cold water. The corn flour will thicken the sauce and it's going to go nice and shiny and glossy as you see here. So you eat with your eyes and I'm sure you'll agree that the lovely bright colors of the sweet and sour chicken, really, really inviting. So serve this. I always think that rectangular and square shapes look more Asian. And there we go. A favorite takeaway meal in minutes. The much healthier version of lots of fruits and vegetables and a low sugar sauce.